mountain communities face deep-rooted exclusion from economic, social and political systems. The research I'll summarise here examines the extent to which ICTs, particularly telecentres, help address these challenges. Drawing on the example of Pazos, a remote district in Peru's high Andes. Despite their rich natural resources and cultural heritage, mountain regions struggle with poverty and exclusion. Can ICTs help to bridge the gap between these communities and essential services and markets and governance? Our study focused on the Airtic telecenter in Pazos in the region of Huancavelica, Peru's poorest region, with fieldwork by my co-author Laura Leon Kanashiro, analysing how students and farmers used ICTs to connect with the outside world, to access information and to enhance their livelihoods. The research found ICTs enabling new resource flows, supporting social connections and supporting agricultural learning. However, Digital literacy gaps and inadequate local content restricted broader impact. We conceptualise this in terms of the information chain model. Effective ICT use depends on the whole information chain operating from data to results. Access to technology is just one component. Without supporting skills, knowledge, infrastructure, ICT benefits remain limited. This means that to make ICTs work for mountain communities, we need a holistic tech plus approach, not just the technology, but also a raft of information chain facilitators, education, local content, institutional support, economic incentives and the like. In sum, our study shows ICTs can help mountain communities overcome remoteness, but only with the right support systems. If you'd like to know more, then take a look at our paper by searching online for the title shown or by finding it as number 38 in our digital development working paper series. Thank you for watching.